Welcome back. We're here in New Prague for the soccer championships in Section 2 to a girls matchup. It was Mankato East against Mankato West. East won the game 2-0. I'm joined now alongside head coach of the Cougars, Lizzie Vetter. Coach, back-to-back -back state tournament appearances for Mankato East. How special does this one feel, especially considering there weren't a ton of expectations for this group coming into the season? Yeah, I think uh, there were a lot of unknowns coming into this year. We just kind of took it head on and, and made the best of every game, tried to win in the little moments and put together a collective effort. And I think obviously it's taken us this far and uh, we were able to put together something really special with a, a lot of new and returning players. What really separates this group from maybe some of the teams that you've had in the past? I think just our work rate, our, our willingness to want to continue with our tradition and the culture that we've built upon, maybe more than any talent that we would have, I think that's the biggest thing is, is just wanting to continue the, the success that has been laid up before us. When you started, your sister uh, was wrapping up her high school career. Did you ever envision that this would be what the program would become when you initially took over? Uh, maybe not envisioned, but hoped for sure. Um, you know, the group that we had when I came in my uh, my first year, so the group that graduated last year now, um, we, uh, we we saw big things for them, really, and that I'm so happy that came to flour flourishing and um, now hoping to continue on with that this year. And obviously we just had a big goal scored here behind us. Mankato East boys are taking on Worthington. They're hoping to advance to the state tournament as well. Unfortunately, we won't have that goal on camera because we're doing this live hit here. But uh, pretty exciting times for the Cougar soccer programs. And, you know, Coach, just, uh, you know, when you start the season and you talk about kind of some of the things that this group wants to do, who really stepped up on the team and said, hey, you know, we're going to have a shot to make this two in a row. Yeah, our seniors, our returning players, um, they really took this head on and took it, you know, with stride that they wanted to continue this. So a huge, a huge shout out to our seniors, our captains, and, and even those returning players that might be juniors or sophomores that were with us last year wanting to continue on. A lot of that goes on them today. Feels like it's probably all icing on top of the cake at this point for this group, but what are your expectations for that state tournament that starts next week for the Cougars? Yeah, I think just to continue to build on what we've what we've done here today. Um, you know, you can only go one and zero in the state tournament. You only get one chance, uh, or, or you're eliminated. So we hope to just continue to build on. Hopefully, get one win, and then be back at the bank would be the dream. All right, thanks so much for joining me, Coach. And again, we do have a game going on behind us. Man Kiddo East taking on Worthington in the Section 2 to a Boys Championship. Right now, that score is one nothing with about 21 and a half minutes to go here in the first half. And it looks like East is threatening again, actually, with a uh, corner kick that they will be taking here. So be sure to tune in to KUIC News Now at 10. We will have all the highlights from the Girls Championship and the Boys Championship. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be right back.